So the four-year wait is finally over. Day one of the grandest event in world football. And a grand welcome to you as you join us for our live coverage of what we hope will be a game that sets it off in style. Just have a look at it, feel it. This really is the best of the beautiful game in motion at fever pitch, and the players are ready. Some great scenes here at De Coyp, nor would you expect anything else from a ground with its particular reputation. We stand for the national anthem of Switzerland. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. The imperative for everyone, three points on opening day. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely. And you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. Got things on the way. Come back to the keeper. All this over the line. it upfield, cuts it out, share, Granit Xhaka, oh he's going to be pulled back for that one, Rodriguez and here's Empolo Empolo a real chance to break plays it out to the flank gets wrestled off the ball well they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners it makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Up for a throw. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And he has been fouled there. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Shoots! 
just lacked a decent finish. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Oh, good interception. Bulgaria still without an attempt on target. Shakiri. He's got options out wide. Battles to win it back. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Plays it out to the wing. And helps available out wide. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now the counter. Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Hits one! A real chance and a real let-off. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. And it's half-time here. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then there's only going to be one winner here, and uh, I don't think it's going to take too much improvement for it to happen. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. Well, the action has already resumed here. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. He's got options out wide. And he's there to cut it out. Forward it goes. Seferovic. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Peter, I can't stress enough the need to get to this fella quickly. They can save themselves a whole lot of hassle. Seferovic. Just brushed off the ball there. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. That intervention was very necessary. Well, they could break here. Hoists it forward, and it's Mbolo. Good challenge, he just stood firm.
What a ball this has turned out. He's had a go! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Well, it's cut out again, and so we'll have a repeat corner. Bulgaria given another corner. He's gone for it! They scored! All balls are welcome, but when they come at a time like that, they're priceless. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. But for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Bulgaria get themselves into the lead. The perfect display, and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Cher. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. He gets past his man. And it's in Bolo. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool head. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Bulgaria still ahead by the game's only goal. And it's played forward. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. It's a loose ball. Switzerland need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. It is just a question of running down the clock now. He's in! Oh, shooting chance! Back in the limit! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Bulgaria could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. And time is up. Bulgaria starts as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucial. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win, and they're saying to the rest of the